You know, when I was growing up, my dad, he bought a green Camry. It was a 94 Camry. It had like this dope tan beige interior, the one with the red lights in the back. I still think it looks really good. And it was something too that, you know, to this day, I just, I always remember, you know, my dad just picking me up from wherever and he would always just be playing music. He would take me to the, to the CD store, Tower Records or whatever it might be and we would just both go shopping for new music all the time. He was kind of like the DJ. He was kind of like, you know, sharpening my taste like really early, even though he wasn't trying to, he was just listening to what he liked. You know, I think that that was actually a really big thing for me growing up because he would always fill like the house with like music, you know, like I would listen to a lot of jazz, but he, he loved soul. He loved the Beach Boys and I would just, I just remember like, I would spend so much time just sitting next to a speaker. Like just, I would, I just wanted to be as close as possible to the music. I, I think I learned a lot. I just was immersed with music since I was born. You know, I, I loved it. I, I truly did. But in high school, I would start to get into like uh, electronic music and going to these underground parties, you know, with the Camry and everything like that. And especially on a Friday, I would definitely take the car because I don't have school the next day. And I would be like waiting for him to come home. I remember sometimes just waiting, like, when, when is my dad gonna come home? Even though he's working, so that I could selfishly like take out the car. I'd be like waiting on the driveway. And it's funny because it, it would be the same thing for him. Like when I'm, when he's waiting for me to come back home and like return the car so he can go to work. And um, yeah, I remember sometimes like coming back and you know, like he would be like, dude, what, why does this thing smell like, smell like garbage? You know, it's like cigarette. It's probably mixed with cigarette smoke to whatever else we got into. <laughs> I used to um, soup up my dad's car and he would have to drive it during the week with all my modifications. But when I, when I go to the Japanese supermarket to get um, the, the dope air freshener to elevating the sound system a little bit with that subwoofer, hopefully my dad enjoyed it, you know, my, my little modifications to the Camry. But uh, it was something that he was always real cool with. Ultimately, after going to so many different events, like, you know, me and my friends just started to throw our own parties and during that time, it was interesting. Like, I started to just throw my own festivals, even. And like, I didn't even have any money, but I just want, I just like loved all different things and bringing people together. I remember just sitting there in an empty parking lot, really just wondering what, what I'm gonna be, what I'm gonna do. I remember this day, like, everybody was mad at me, like, managers of bands and like, the place was getting destroyed. Like the hotel manager was like, dude, I did not, like we did not know what was coming in here. But I remember my parents coming to this event, right? And they were like really like proud of me, even though I was in, under complete duress and I was looking like my hair was on fire. I remember they were just like, wow, Sean, you know, they were just like so surprised that, you know, I could do anything really. <laughs> so like, it was crazy. And I, I just started doing more of that, man. I would tell this to anybody, like throwing events and organizing events and bringing people together. I mean, that whole experience is something that, you know, literally has taught me so much. Honestly, it was hard, but it was all worth it. You know, you just have to keep trusting yourself and not give up. And once you have that conviction, 
you got to ruthlessly execute towards that vision. And what I mean by that is just like, don't, don't settle for like thinking everything is all good. And also, you got to spend the time. Time is passion. You could spend any second doing whatever you want in life, but if you really care about this, you got to spend the time, bro. Yo, we started in a little office with like five people. It was, it was really hard, but now we're here. It's like a home for celebrating Asian creators around the world. And, you know, we kind of, we aspire to Disney and that whole thing of just being able to dream big and being able to, if we dream it, we can actually achieve it. And, you know, we've made a lot of waves in terms of Asian Americans and music, and we're, we're gonna continue to do that. What's cool about this now is that we have partners like Toyota that can help us make some of these dreams come to life. We're just soaking up what it is to be young. That car allowed me to just go anywhere, you know? Wherever life took me. We're the best fucking music company in the world, I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. We get a break up in here. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!